Hey, Mook, what are you doing today? I'm fixing this truck. Oh, hell yeah, what truck is this? This is my new, new to me, 1978 F-150 Ranger Explorer package. Nice. Do you like it? It's very green. Where'd you get this thing? I got it in Des Moines yesterday. Kevin found this on Marketplace and sent me the link. And I was immediately interested in it and wanted to know more about this truck and go see it. And so that's what we did. We went down to Des Moines, looked at this truck, and decided that it would be a good project. We dug it out of this guy's yard that was just a pile of cars, pushed it down the street, got it up on the trailer, drove it home, and dumped it here in the middle of our yard. We messed with it for a few minutes last night, tried to make some noise. So let's see if we can get it running. Classic 70s Ford style hood. <laughs> yep. Well, that was closed in the hood. That's good. <laughs> what uh, what we got here? So here we have either a 400 cubic inch or a 351 modified series V8. We're not sure yet. We were told that it ran at least a year and a half ago, but we're we're just gonna see how it goes. I've never dealt with one of these modifieds. We kind of generally avoid them just because they're weird. They're total smog engines with like one to one compression. No, I'm kidding. It was like eight to one compression. They were terrible. So, and there are only two barrels with the DuraSpark and smog pumps and all sorts of good stuff. This one does not have a smog pump. So, maybe they didn't have smog pumps. I don't know. But they were potatoes. So, last night, like I mentioned, we messed with it for a few minutes just to see if we can make some noise. Zing! Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> and then today, we're gonna see if we can make a lot more noise and see if it can move. Oh, what the hell? Why is there 10 inches on the dipstick? <laughs> So, as you can see, the first thing we need to do before we try anything is drain the oil, flush out the oil pan, because it is covered with gunk. So we have to get that out of there yeah. <laughs> before we cause more damage. It is 50 degrees, cold and raining and windy. But Mook don't give a heck because she's truly passionate about cars and working on her new truck. Can't see what I'm doing. Ooh, what is that? Oof. Uh oh. That doesn't look good. That's water. Shit. <laughs> that is a very large quantity of water. Great. Holy crap, that's a lot of water. Does not smell good. Smoky 2.0. Never flooded. Yeah, quote unquote. <laughs> Holy crap. That's still water. There it is. Oh. <laughs> Any goo coming out here? No. I thought we were going to have a bunch of like really. I thought it was going to be like chunks. Yeah, thick oil. Nope. Straight water. water. <laughs> here comes the chunks. Oh yeah, there's the there's the nice chunky stuff. Oh god. Peanut butter oil. Oh man. So we're probably gonna need to put something really thin with a higher flash point in there to get all that out. Oh I'm saying we dump a few quarts of gasoline in there to oh. hopefully break that is it getting worse? Yeah. Well let's just let this drain for a good long time to go do something else. Yep. So seeing that there were five or six quarts of water pouring out, we decided to stick a boroscope and see if there was rust, and this is what we found. So there's a push rod and a rocker, and they're covered in water, so a lot of condensation up to the top of this motor, but everything still looks oily. It's like it recently got filled with water, mm. which is strange. 
I'm not too concerned about this, honestly, because it all came out. We're going to flush all that gunk and stuff out of the pan with some higher flash point liquids and then throw a bunch of fresh oil, a new filter, and some Marvel Mystery Oil down in the bottom. And then do an oil change within... No. <laughs> do an oil change within the That's... first 40 minutes of it running. It's what the it... people want, Kevin. No, it's... <laughs> I, as one of the people, do not want that. <laughs> now we're gonna put in a couple quarts of gas in and let it break up the sludge in there. With we our wanna, thingamajig here. Yeah, we're gonna go straight for the oil dipstick because we don't want any of this gas to hit like valve seals, the front or rear main, or any of the seals on the way down. So we're just gonna inject it right into the pan. Slosh it around, rinse it out two or three times. Very exciting. Mm -hmm. I have no idea when to stop. Slosh that uh, oil around in the pan a little bit. All right, let's do this. We've swished it a few times. It's been a couple hours. Uh, everything that is chunky should now be not so chunky. We're ready to drop We're the gonna first drain pound. It. Yeah, we're good. Let's see how gross it is. You're gonna make me lose it. You're gonna make me lose it! <laughs> okay, let's go. Come on. Okay, should be good now. Oh. Here it goes. Oh, yeah, look oh, at that. Over my hands. More in there than I thought. Damn. Mm -hmm. Did a real number on her though. Now to do that six more times, but off camera. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna just keep going this till we get. We obviously will never really get it clear. We just drained. want better results yeah. than that. All right, we got a battery in it. We're gonna see if we have lights. You mean dash lights? Come on. For some reason, my right blinker indicator comes on. <laughs> you know, mine did that too. All right, you, you got one light bulb. Try the high beams. Oh, those were high beams. Okay, um, headlights off. Left turn. Anything? Nothing. Right turn. Oh. What about that one? Yeah, you got the tiniest little hint of a front blinker. Oh. Huh? I've got indicators for both in here. Really? Yeah. Maybe the backs work. Oh yeah, we got a right blinker. Left blinker, we got brake lights. Uh, pull up on the brake. Turn the headlights on. Hey, we got driving lights. See, we got a trailer hookup. All right, yeah, turn the lights off. Try the horn. Oh my gosh. This truck was worth every penny now. <laughs> Holy crap, look at that. They work pretty good. Oh, you have one of these. I have a knife! Mine broke off right away. I found a knife. What? <laughs> ah! Wow, watch the Ow. car <laughs> ah. Go away! <laughs> I hate quadra jets. Not a green carpet. Oh, a plastic knife. Yes. What's this? A number, and it says State Farm. Wait a minute. Gary's phone number. Whoever Gary is. <laughs> Some accessory ground right here. A dime! <laughs> you got working shoulder belts. Wow, this one's real nice. I have a receipt to the village inn. How's your seatbelt? Oh, you know. Oh, you got a, you got a uh, date on that? That's what I'm looking for. Apparently, this truck was stolen. Yeah. And they made a, they had to recover it with a prior, prior salvage title, and that guy bought it from the auction company that we bought it from. That is twelve thirteen. So two thousand thirteen. In Des Moines. So it's probably been seven years, eight, five, forty-three years since it's been on the road. You're so good at numbers. 
like, damn, will you teach me? <laughs> Can't get this crap out of here. But keep the knife there. You're good. Well, I tell you what, Mook. I'm glad we decided to finish the garage yesterday so we could bring the truck inside in case it rained. Yeah. <laughs> it's currently downpouring. What is next? Complete the oil change. We pulled our filter off yesterday and dumped it out, and this is what we found. Well, that's not so good. So, yeah, my confidence in this truck running is now a bit lower, seeing that it had, at one point, water circulating through the oil system. Hopefully this works its magic. How much we time? toss half in, you think? Yeah. And then we'll use the next half for it when we drop the oil and do it again after it runs. A little more. All right, we got her full of oil. Mook's gonna crank it and watch the oil pressure gauge. See if that does anything. I'm gonna listen for crazy noises up there. We're just gonna kind of see if it cranks at all. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> Must have been a uh, little fuel in it somewhere. Yeah. It does crank. The battery is pretty small and not the best. But, I mean, sounds like it's got one kind of tight spot or a weak cylinder or something in there. Um, I guess we know the ignition's good. Yeah. Gas time, I guess? Yes. We're going to see if this thing even takes fuel. Yeah. Damn, the and seat might work. I had pressure at first. The trees are dry. We had pressure at first. And then it bled off, and I watched the vapors come out of the vents, and then we had pressure again, which means the needle and seat might have been stuck a bit and then freed up. Let's see if the accelerator pump works. I'm going to limb and say nope. <laughs> I guess we can give it a test crank. All right, this is the first start attempt on a flooded motor. Hit it. There you go. Yep. All right. We need something a little more flammable in there. Try that. thought about it. <gasps> Try it again. fuel pump started working. Oh. So I just saw a shot of liquid go flying. Oh really? Yeah. Alright, well it looks like, ooh, that is warm. Looks yeah. like we need to um, cap off that fuel line, get a battery charger on this, and then come back. Alrighty, we got a bolt jammed it into that hose. Battery's been charging for 30 seconds. Hit it. Yeah, oh yeah, that's what we want. All right, do it again. Sorry. Hang on. Why is our choke not going? All right, I'm going to try to run the choke and the throttle somehow. 
Yes, that's how. Damn. Alright, go for it. This is not scary at all. I thought I just oh. heard a bunch of, yeah that what <laughs> I was like I heard something what <gasps> are you kidding the exhaust this truck was absolutely flooded this truck was underwater I guess we should have faced it the other way okay so it's the next day I know you can't tell because Diggs and I are wearing the exact same clothes but we had some stuff come up, so we stopped working on the truck, and now here we are again. So the last thing that happened was the truck pooped everything out. <laughs> so today we're just going to take, or I guess I'm just going to take the carb off. Going to rebuild it, bring it back, and then put the truck outside so we don't destroy this, you know, immaculate floor we have here. And, yeah, continue there. Hopefully it warms up. It probably won't. My hair's gonna freeze. Everything's free. There you go. The story of everything being rained down continues. Oh my. I did not see that rust. That was the bottom of the carb. Honestly, the carb looks great. I wonder if it's been replaced because it was flooded or who knows what. So yeah, we're gonna take this to the shop, throw some new gaskets in it, and bring it back, try it again. So while we were rebuilding this, we discovered that it was a smaller carburetor than factory, so let's see how well this works. I think that's a 287 CFM. The stock would have been somewhere around 350 CFM. So we'll just have lots of vacuum signal. I'm sure it'll be fine. We also left our phenolic space at the shop, so we'll see if that just seals straight to the intake. Uh -huh. Did you just... <laughs> My truck is eating you. So these all came with the car as well. Obviously this is a Rochester Quadrajet, so we just throw that back in a lake. Uh, here's a Motorcraft 2150 or 2300 or something like that. It's a little bit different style. I think this is what was on the truck, actually. Here's another one. These are both seized up. Actually, this one almost moves. They've taken all the screws out. This one's all twisted to hell, so... I don't know what's going on. These are both labeled 1.21 right here. And that one's a 1.08, so that's a smaller carb. But it doesn't have any of this junk that these motorcrafts have. I prefer the Autolite 2100s. I honestly prefer it four barrel but out of the selection we have available at the moment this is our best bet so we rebuilt this guy and ripped all the choke stuff off so we can do a full manual choke and just cleaned everything out we did have a cracked venturi assembly in that so we will see if that's going to be a problem i tried to solder it but i tried that on the f-250 like the og f-250 as well and that never worked, so we might be pulling a Venturi assembly out of one of those carbs. We'll see. Okay, you ready for this? Yes. You watch the oil pressure, I'll watch the fire quantity, and hopefully... No more pooping. Give her a couple pumps. We filled the bowl, and we're just going to run that bowl out. Ready, Moot? Yep. Go for it. Is it in part? Yep. All right, go for it. We definitely don't have all eight cylinders, but it's trying to run. What that might be is that cracked emulsion tube not working right on, on one of the two banks. How much water came out? Oh, no, don't fall in there. Oh my god. What? Oh my. 
You filled the freaking bucket, dude. Okay. <laughs> Poop in the bucket. Mm -hmm. I'm sure our timing's crap. I'm sure our plugs are crap. I'm sure our valves aren't the best. I see we have a fuel leak, so that's nice. I'm gonna hook the fuel pump up this time so we don't run out of gas. Give it a go. uncorked oh my ears <laughs> yeah do you think we have a gallon yet <laughs> <laughs> uh we're straight up missing a cylinder or two so oh f stupid thing <laughs> make sure all our spark plugs are existent oh that's why what? we're missing a uh a spark plug wire on number eight it just goes stop. So, so let's get a spark plug wire from I don't know what and try it again. Actually, I think I have the box on over here. You do? <laughs> this damn truck. Please stop. <laughs> oh, that's pretty tight. Where's the uh, Where's the other end? Did it go on the ground at least? Yep, it's down there. Where's the one? This end. Well, there's your problem. Oh, good. Yeah, that's what we want. I think I have a spare one. Yeah, it's even from like the same arrow forward. So there we go. Zing. All right, round three. The coil wire is fixed. I've got the mechanical pump plumbed into a bucket to help recover all that old gas instead of just spraying it everywhere. Good? Good. Let's do it. So here's what I'm seeing. We uh, we only run off the accelerator pump. So this is all too familiar with the F-250, which means the- Venturi um, assembly? Yeah, the Venturi assembly is junk. Also, God, that is loud with that freaking- exhaust. Yeah, the exhaust crossover port wide open. It is so loud. So- Can we steal one from one of these carbs? Yeah, we can try to steal one from one of those carbs. If they're any good is the big question mark. So it's been a few hours. We, uh, we've been trying to get the timing adjusted. Everything's going pretty well. Uh, it's only a little on fire. The distributor seized. It took us way too long to get the bolt out so that we could even try to adjust it. We had to take Smell. the entire air compressor off. It smells like cancer. <laughs> trying to get a little heat into there so we can free up the distributor, which is seized. And we don't have a torch or anything here at the house, so. I just decided to light everything on fire with brake cleaner and WD-40. Yeah, you know, probably really, if the intake seal was good before, it isn't now. We're just trying to keep the heat off the intake seal. I was you guys make noise when you blow, you're like, Ugh, instead of... <laughs> I don't! <laughs> 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 
it's like... Oh, wait, can we even get it out if we need to? <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> It's all charred. <laughs> it's painted. Shh. It just crumbles. God, stupid thing. Yeah, it just crumbles. Well, this is the Seasomatic 990. I'd like to interrupt this program by <laughs> announcing that I have shirts now. If you like this truck, it's on a shirt. Link is in the description below. Otherwise, go to Junkyard Digs. Got that? Oh no! <laughs> go to Junkyard Digs. Dot com. We are in pre-order right now, <laughs> so it might be a little bit before they come. Meow. So go check them out. I'm gonna die. <laughs> this is held up by a lawnmower blade. <laughs> oh, projectile vomit in a circle. No. <laughs> It has been the weekend, and we figured out that our Venturi assembly is just not going to work, so I got a different carb. This is actually off of the F-350 that I drove in one of my previous videos. So we're going to clean it up, replace the accelerator pump, and then we'll see how that runs. There it is, guys. New power valve, new gaskets, we cleaned it up a bit, and now it's back on the truck. <laughs> let's see if it so runs. So let's start it up. say it's worse but it might not be any better what you doing getting oh. ready to stab so a major turn of events has occurred major what <laughs> <laughs> we went to remove our thermostat and replace it because we noticed this thing was getting a little warm and the radiator wasn't and we sheared the back bolt off you did. I did, yes. <laughs> I got the front one off just fine. Yeah, you got it off just fine. I don't know what fine. your problem I is. I destroyed my finger and sheared that bolt off. So, that might be the nail in the coffin where I can finally justify putting a 302 or a 351 in this truck. But, just to make sure, we're going to fire this up. We're going to put it in gear. We're You're going to take some deep breaths. I'm going to take some deep <laughs> breaths. We're going to see if the transmission works. If nothing happens, we put it in the woods. Yeet. Yes. <laughs> we rip this engine out, throw it into a creek. Not ours. I don't need it poisoning our creek. Someone else's creek. Yes. Clear. Throw it into a landfill <laughs> and then get a 302 and a C4 or a T5 and put it in here and enjoy life the way it was meant to be. works and forward works they're going really fast so that's odd oh, why can't this thing just die please i'm just begging you die i don't want to work on this modifier anymore Kevin's crying. i hate this engine so much 
Underwater, now it runs. We, we don't know why, and the vacuum's healthy. So we, we don't know, it smokes, it smells rich as hell. But we're gonna call that good for now until hopefully someday we get a different carburetor or it throws all the rods to the block we can put a Windsor in it the way God intended. It's, it's just a carburation issue at this point. The engine runs great. It's yeah. just because we don't have a good two barrel carburetor between the both of us. Give her a rip. I'll do that again. And one more for the ladies. Oh, hang on. There we go ahead. <laughs> it's a rust cloud. <laughs> what was that? Do it again. It's rust coming out of the exhaust. So another day has passed. Uh, we took a break to do some other things. We're back in the truck. Today we're going to pop the master cylinder off. It's totally seized. It's a little strange because it's still completely full of fluid. So I thought that was weird. Don't know what's going on there. But I got this uh, jug to catch this brake fluid to keep it from getting on the paint. Never mind. <laughs> it's still full. Nothing comes out. All right. Um, never seen that happen before. There, the seal still looks okay. I still don't know why this was seized. I need to start looking to see if that booster's stuck. Well, we thought it was going to be the $20 master cylinder that we needed to replace, but of course, it's the super expensive brake booster that we need to. And we don't have one. And we don't have one. Thankfully there's one in Ankeny, and they actually only want like 90 bucks, so it's a little cheaper than Rock Auto for once. That sucker's totally locked up here. Oh yeah, look at this. Ready for this? <laughs> there's a hole in the top of it. <laughs> so yeah. Take that back for a core return, get a new one, and hopefully have brakes by the end of the day. Turns out we didn't need to take that master cylinder off at all when we could have left it sealed and not had to bleed brakes. Oh no. Damn it. <laughs> a few hours have gone by, our new brake booster is in place. I'm about to put my new master cylinder in. Painted it black, of course, so don't let me lose those. Mint. Bleeding the master. Mm -hmm. Almost there. We're about to see that we have a bunch of leaks somewhere else. Oh yeah. Alright, we're done. Hey Kevin, I made a drink for you. Did you? It's orange and pretty. Oh, my favorite. <laughs> brake fluid cocktail. Even got a straw. Yeah, with the, the fun swirly straw. <laughs> You're welcome. I, you know what? I think I'm going to give up drinking for a little bit. You can have it. Non-believers die first. It's time to drive it. Is it? Yeah. You got your master cylinder all bled? All the brakes are bled? Three out of four work? <laughs> yeah. one, of them, one of them's just dry? Might pull hard to the right when I break. Fuel system's all flushed out. You got fuel? Yeah, that's always good. So we gotta crank it, fill that bowl. And then I think we're ready to see if it moves under its own power. Question mark. Big question mark. Big question mark. <laughs> Holy crap! It's driving. You got a speedometer or anything? The speedometer is moving. Oh, yeah, <laughs> look at that. 
It's you're moving! Driving, you're driving your truck. <laughs> See what the brakes are. Yeah, pulls to the right. What if I just did my outro like this? Like, thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe for more chaos. There will be more videos on this truck soon when it's not full of boxes. Goodbye.